<clears throat> Hello friends, my name is Paul Whittakind and what I would like to do today is introduce you to what I refer to here as my universal code of numbers. So universal, well, uh, they encompass the entire universe of the world of numbers. So whatever number it may be, uh, the same principle applies. It can be a number, you know, the smallest number you can think of until any number out to infinity. This uh, <clears throat> schematic here, this group of numbers that I'm circling right here, they will uh, provide insight into the way that numbers work and the way that they interact with each other. And inside of this thing uh, is embedded a code or several codes, multiple codes, and I think with those codes it's possible to uh, have a better understanding of the universe as well. So I will uh, begin to cover it for you here. I will explain to you that it is a, a base 9 number system uh, as compared to the conventional base 10 number system that we're more familiar with in our schools. And uh, that it uh, also excludes the number zero. So what we have is we have these nine numbers and you're all familiar with them. Uh, we've all become acquainted. Some of you may like them, hate them, love them, I don't know. But uh, I understand uh, why or how people could come to detest numbers through formal schooling and the like. Uh, myself, I was not uh, a big fan of being <laughs> forced into any kind of a, uh, you know, regimented, uh, disciplined uh, structure when it came to learning and, and certainly uh, I think there's a better way to do it. But anyway, uh, I don't know to what extent uh, this is available knowledge or I, I, it just never Nobody ever brought it to my attention. I never saw it in any uh, academic setting or, uh, you know, schooling, university, anything like that. And I think it's something that's uh, very helpful to understand numbers and the way they work. And uh, something that should have not been overlooked because Really what it is, is it takes the entire universe of numbers and it simplifies them to give you uh, a consistent answer uh, to certain problems, the problems that arise in arithmetic, uh, subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division. And I would theorize that all math is essentially arithmetic. And if one were to understand this chart, that would probably have a better understanding of the universe uh, of uh, mathematics and numbers than even, you know, what you uh, probably learn in school over 12 years, which you may have forgotten and probably have. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reintroduce you to the numbers and uh, hopefully you'll consider them friends. I consider them like friends. Uh, like all friends, we have major friends and some friends that are, you know, less important. But in this system, nine is the most important number. So uh, what we have, these friends, uh, they're reliable, they're truthful, they never deviate. Uh, they're always going to uh, remain the same. Uh, their personality will always remain the same as they did long before any of us came uh, about and proceed long into the future after all of us are gone. So what I'll do is I will uh, introduce you to the friends again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And those are the only numbers that exist in this system. And uh, the way we count them is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is one and zero. So I'll just address zero. Zero uh, plays a role in this, but for the most part, uh, we disregard zero. Zero, uh, I made peace with it uh, because I think we should uh, be in peace with it, 
but at the same time, by its very definition, it's something that doesn't exist. It's the epitome of the void, of non-existence. Who knows? Maybe it represents something that I don't uh, quite understand, the ether or whatever. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, 11, 1 plus 1, uh, well, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 11 is 2. 10 is 1, 1 plus 0. 11 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2. 12 is 3, because it's 1 plus 2 is 3. 13 is 4, 1 plus uh, 3 is 4. 14 is a 5, because 1 plus uh, 4 is a 5. And that continues uh, with any number, 2 digit, 3 digit, 5 digit, 10 digit, 2 digit numbers, let's say 66. 6 and 6 is 12, which is a 3. So 66, for our purposes, is 3. Uh, 42, 4 and 2 is a 6. 42, it is a 6. And why do I say that? Well, because in actuality, it is 6. And it's going to, uh, I'm going to prove that because it's going to always, uh, you know, provide the result uh, as if it was a 6. Uh, which, once again, I'll reiterate, it is a 6. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1 and 9 is uh, 10, 20, 21, 22, and on and on and on. Take a number 72, well, that's a 9. Take a number 66, that's a 3. 33 is a 6. 42 is a 6. 32 is a 5. And we'll just uh, have to uh, understand them like that. So what happens here is uh, you have 3, 6, and 9. Okay, so 9 is the major number. It pretty much directs uh, everything. Everything is based on uh, the power of 9. So we have 3, 6, and 9, and that appears uh, throughout this code. Uh, we have groups of three numbers, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, each of them having three numbers. We have 6 in succession because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the sequence that repeats itself. So here we have x to the 7th, so any number to the 7th power. If we take uh, the number to the 8th power, it will be 1, 4, 9, 7, 7, 9, 4, 1, 9 again, which is shown up here. It's how it repeats itself. It goes 1, 4, 9, 7, 7, 9, 1, 8, 9, 1, 8, 9, 1, 8, 9, which is 1, 4, 7, 7, 7, 9, 4, 1, 9, 1, 8, 9, 1, 8, 9 again. And that will go to infinity. So the first thing we'll uh, point out here is, uh, okay, so these groups of threes, three of them, those are the threes, this is the sixes, and this is the nines, one through nine, three, six, and nine. Nine is like the queen in the chess game. Uh, it has the power to move around and do everything, where one is maybe the equivalent of the king in the chess game. It's very limited and restricted, but uh, it's a major thing, uh, component as well. Uh, it's the king, what can I say? So what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, we are going to show how these numbers will all reduce to produce these results. So 1 times 1, 1 squared is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, which is 7, 5 times 5 is 25, which is uh, 7, 6 times 6 is 36, 3 and 6 is 9, 7 times 7, 49, 4 and 9 is 13, which is 4, 8 and 8 is 64, which is 6 and 4, which is 1, uh, 9 times 9 is 81, which is 8 and 1, and that equals 9. So the next thing we'll do is we'll just take uh, a couple of uh, two-digit numbers to, to prove that this continues. So we'll take the number 33. Well, the number 33 is a 6. 33 times 33 is 1,089. So 1089, 1, 8 is 9, and 9 is 18. So 33 is a 6, 18, it's a 9. 33 squared is a 9. 72 squared is 5,184. 7 and 72 is a 9. Uh, 5,184. 5 and 1 is 6. 
8, 14, 4, 18, 1 and 8 is a 9. Uh, you know, uh, 27. 27 squared is 729. So 27 is also a 9. 729, 7 and 2 is 9, plus 9 is 18, 1 and 8 is a 9. Uh, 84, 6400, uh, 65, 61, 7 8, 89, 70, 56. So I think I said uh, 84. 84 is 8 and 4 is 12, which is 1 and 2, which is a 3. So 84 is uh, 7,084 squared. 84 times 84 is 7,056. So 7 and 5 is 12 and 6 is 18. That's a 9. Uh, take another one. 39, for instance. 39 is 12, which makes it a 3. So 39 squared is 1521. 1 and 5 is 6. And 2 is 8. And 1 is 9. So uh, that goes to infinity. Uh, it will keep on following the same pattern. All you have to realize is that any two-digit number, three-digit number, five, ten, fifteen, million-digit number, it always reduces back to one of these numbers, the one through nine, and then it will follow this sequence. So what it does is it takes uh, the entire universe of numbers and it simplifies it down into this very concise uh, group of numbers, and it will never fail you. So uh, let's do the cubing, just to illustrate that. So 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, 6 and 4 is uh, 1, 10, which is 1. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. 1, 2 and 5 is 8. 6 cubed is 6 times 6 is 36, times 6 is 216, 2 and 1 and 6 is 9, 7 cubed is 7 times 7 is 49, 49 times 7 is 343, so 3 and 4 is 7 and 3 is 10, that's the 1, 8 cubed is 8 times 8 is 64, times 8 is 512, 5, 1 and 2 comes out to 8, 9 cubed is 9 times 9 is 81, and 81 times 9 is 729. So 7, 2, and 9, 18, 1, and 8 is 9, and that's how that works. But you can take any number, and once again it goes to infinity. It doesn't matter what number it is. Now we'll cover uh, uh, a couple of other interesting facets of this thing, which are these sequences of numbers, uh, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. Uh, it's a repeating sequence. It go goes on forever. And these are those numbers right there. That's why I've circled them here. 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1. Well, the 2, 4, 8, 7, 5s and 1s, they double according to that sequence. For instance, 2 doubled is 4. 4 double is 8. 8 double is 16, 1 and 6, 16 double is 32, 3 and 2, 32 double is 64, 6 and 4 is 1, which is 10, uh, 64 and 64, uh, 128, uh, 1 and 2 is 3 and 8 is 11, 11 is 1 and 1 is 2. Uh, if you want to start with a 7, for instance, 7 uh, double is 14, 1 and 4 is 5. Uh, 14 doubled is 28, 2 and 8 is 1, 28 doubled is 56, 5 and 6 is 11, which is 2. Uh, but you can do it with any of these numbers. And 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1 uh, are a different uh, set of numbers than the 3, 6, 9 numbers. Uh, 3 doubles like this, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, going on forever. 6 doubles by going 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3. Goes on forever. 9 doubles, uh, it's always a 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 and 18 is 36. 3 and 6 is 9. Uh, 36 and 36 is 72. 72 is 9. 72, 72, 
well, double 72, you get 144. 1, 4, and 4 is 9. 288, same thing, goes on forever. And it repeats. It, it repeats that sequence. So we also have the 471, 741, which you find here, 471, 471, 471. Uh, it's also over here. Uh, 471, 471, 471, okay? Or 741, 741, 741. That's a repeating sequence as well. And we have the 818181 sequence, 818181, 818181, 818, and so on. So the whole thing is always repeating. Now, I've, these are this, this is the repeating sequence here, this, the six, the six of them, okay? And I would like to point out that what you have in these groups are like, uh, okay, they're always going to reduce to the same number. If there are four, five, eight, seven, five, one number, for instance, where the three, six, nine will take a different, uh, you know, uh, it, it just has its, uh, the different personality. But anyway, one, four, nine, that's going to be uh, reduced to five, seven, seven, nine to five, four, one, nine to five. One, eight, nine is going to reduce to nine, nine, nine. One, seven, nine is going to be eight, as is four, four, nine going to be eight, is seven, one, nine is going to be eight. Uh, 119 is going to be 12, well, 11, which is a 2. So that's how you get the 2. Now, uh, the 369 groups are x to the 5th and x to the 7th, because this goes 3, 9, 6, and x to the 5th here goes 6, 9, 3. So every time they repeat, you'll get these as well, and they also play a, a role. They're, they're part of the embedded code. So uh, basically all I wanted to do was introduce to you this concept today. Uh, now I know in conventional education uh, we have this 10 base number system and it's fine and I don't have anything against it, certainly, but uh, if you are to also consider the base 9 number system, uh, you will see how much easier it is to simplify things. Uh, because you can take any number to any power and it will always follow the sequence and it will never deviate from that. And I believe uh, that's a very powerful message. So uh, I think I covered the basics for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and uh, I hope to see you again.